So take your feet with the toes pointed straight up to the ceiling. And scrunch and spread your toes. And then point and flex your feet. Make circles with your ankles. And pause and go the other way. Bring your big toes together and sweep the pinkies to the floor. And then windshield wipe the legs. Bring your big toes together and just tap the big toes together. And then slide your heels and tap the backs of your legs. Bend your knees and either roll to one side or come and sit up. And take your legs long and just come forward. Just pause here for a moment. Try and keep your head, neck, and spine all in the same plane, all in the same alignment. Just let the back release a little bit. And then sit up and bend your knees. Take your hands through the knees. Press the fingertips into the mat around your back. And then extend the legs and once more come forward. Just pause here for a moment. Bend your knees, reach through. Press the fingertips down and round your back. Extend your legs, hinge forward. And then bend your knees, reach through. And then walk yourself back up with your feet just about hip distance apart. Just rock your knees a bit from side to side. And then if you're using a bolster, take it up to the top of your mat. And then come on down all the way onto your back. And when you reach, when you roll down onto your back, bring the feet flat to the floor with your knees bent. Just make sure that your knees are pointed straight up to the ceiling so that they're in line with your hips. And then take your hands to the sides of your mat and just sort of walk your hands away. Or you can just gently pull the mat down towards your feet to release your shoulders. And then press your feet into the floor. Press the lower back into the floor by doing a pelvic tilt. And release. Press the feet. Press the back into the mat. And release and press your feet, press the back into the mat. And release and rock your knees gently from side to side. And as you do this, take note of what's touching the mat or where you're feeling the massage. So you might feel it across your sacrum. You might feel it across the top of the glutes. Just sort of notice. And then come back to the center and press the feet, press the back into the mat. And release. And then draw your knees in towards your chest. Rock them in and out. Keep a little space between the knees, maybe about hip distance apart. And now take the knees wider and rock in and out. Bring the knees back to hip distance apart. Let the knees fall away from the body. Cross the knee, left ankle over the right. Separate the knees and make circles around the low back and the sacrum. And again, just take a moment to feel where the body touches the mat as you make your circles. And then hug your thighs in towards the ribs and rock in and out. 
Keep your thighs at your ribs or up side to side. And then let the legs fall away again, recross the ankles and make your circles in the other direction. Bring your rib pair of thighs in towards your ribs and rock them in and out. Keep them hugged in and rock side to side. And then uncross the legs, let the knees fall away. And then bring them in close. And let the knees fall away. And when you bring the knees in close, see if you can bring them in close with the knees pointing towards the armpits. It gets a little higher up on your back. And then let the knees fall away. And then bring them in close. Take the legs up straight. Hold on behind your, your thighs. Point and flex your feet. And make some circles with your ankles. And pause and then go the other way. And then stretch the legs up. Press through the balls of your feet. And then bring your thighs to your ribs and stretch the legs up, thighs to the ribs, and stretch the legs up, and one more time, thighs to the ribs, and then rock your thighs in and out. Hold on to your ankles or your shins, bring the soles of your feet together, and let your elbows rest on the inner thighs. Bring your feet to the floor and extend your arms and legs and stretch the body. Bring your left thigh in close and rock it in and out. And then take your right uh, left arm out to a T and use your right hand to draw the left knee over towards your right shoulder. Come back to the middle and use the left hand to draw it to the left shoulder. And now let your knee fall away. Hold on to the top of the knee. Make some circles with your left hip. And then pause and go the other way. And then hug the thigh in and extend your leg up. Put a slight bend in your knee and rock your thigh in and out. And then press the thigh up, the leg up. Press your thigh into your hands, hands into your thigh. And then bring the arch of your left foot to the right knee. And <clears throat> Take your knee all the way over to the right. And then take a block and bring the block about the height of your left hip. So to the left side. And then come back up to the middle. Let your left knee drop out to the left side and let it rest on the block. <coughs> Extend both legs, reach with your arms, stretch your body. And then bring the right leg in and rock your right thigh in and out. Take your right hand out to a T and use your left hand to draw the right knee over to the left shoulder. And then bring your right knee to your right shoulder. And now just make some circles with your right hip. And pause and go the other way.
Bring your thigh into your ribs. And then extend the leg out. Press your thigh into your hands, hands into the thigh. And bend and straighten the leg. Press your leg up. Maybe point and flex a couple times. Make a couple of circles. Go the other way. And then press the thigh up. Bend your knee slightly, rock the thigh in and out. And now press the leg up. Bring the arch of your right foot to the left knee and take your knee across to the left. And you can bring a block to your, uh, about to your right hip. And then come back up to the middle, let the right knee drop out to the right side and rest on the block. Extend your arms and your legs, do a pelvic tilt, point your toes. And then relax everything, let everything be loose, let your feet splay to the corners of your mat, let your elbows be bent. Just close your eyes, take a couple of breaths. Walk your legs over to the right corner of your mat. Hold on to your left wrist and reach the left wrist way to the back of your, uh, to the wall behind you. Press through your heels for a nice stretch on the left side of your body. And then relax and walk the legs over to the left corner of your mat. Hold on to your right wrist, reach the arm to the wall behind you. Press through your heels and stretch. And then come back to the middle, bend your knees, bring your feet to the floor, bring your arms down by your sides and rock your knees gently from side to side. And then take the feet wide and rock the knees a little more from side to side. And then press the feet into the mat, press the back into the mat. And release and press your feet, press your back into the mat. And release and press your feet, press the back into the mat. And release, bring your feet back to hip distance apart, draw both knees in, rock them in and out. And take your legs up straight, hold on behind the thighs. Remember if you can't uh, straighten the legs, you can lower them down a little bit. If you need to use a belt, you can use a belt. And then take the legs wide and then bring them in. And take your legs out wide and then bring them in. And take the legs wide and bring them in. And then bring the feet to the floor, take the left ankle over the right knee, roll open the left hip with your left hand, and then bring your knees into your chest and rock them in and out. Keep the knees hugged in, take them a couple inches over to the right for a stretch in the outer hip and uh, glutes, the side glute. A little bit into the hip flexor. And then come back to the center, lower the right foot, cross the left leg all the way over. Bring the knees in and rock them in and out. Keep the belly soft. And then keep your knees hugged in, slide your hands to your shins or your ankles, separate your feet. And then bring the right foot to the floor, take the left hand to a T and use your right hand to draw the knees to the right.
Come back up to the middle. Take your feet as wide as your mat and rock your knees from side to side. Bring your feet back to hip distance and take the right ankle over the left knee. Roll open your right hip with the right hand and then bring your knees into your chest. Rock in and out. Keep the knees hugged in and take them a couple inches over to the left. Bring your feet to the floor, cross the legs all the way over. Keep your belly soft as you bring your knees in towards your chest. Keep the knees hugged in, slide the hands down to your shins or your ankles and then separate your feet. Bring the left foot to the floor, take your right hand out to a T and then take your knees over to the left. Come back up to the middle, uncross the legs, take them as wide as your mat, rock your knees. Take the knees all the way over to the right. Come back up to the middle and take them all the way over to the left. Come back up to the middle, extend your arms, extend your legs, stretch the body. Exhale your arms down by your sides, bend your knees, roll to one side and let's sit up. Bring your hands to rest at your knees. And just close your eyes for a moment. Lower your chin to your chest. And then bring your chin parallel to the floor and turn your head to the left. And then turn your head right. Come back to the middle and round your back. Lift your chest and round your back. Lift your chest and round your back. And lift your chest. Reach your arms up, turn the palms and lower down. Reach the arms up, turn your palms and exhale. And reach your arms up. And this time lower your right arm, walk out to the right and reach with your left arm and stretch the side of your body. And now sweep the left arm down around in front of you. Bring the right arm up and reach and stretch. Bring both arms up. Turn the palms, exhale, and release the arms down. Roll your shoulders. And reverse. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale with a ha. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Reach up with both arms. And again, lower the right arm, walk it out to the side. Reach and stretch. And then roll the ribs to the floor. 
and then open up and roll your ribs. Inhale and open. And then exhale, roll the ribs to the floor. And then sweep the left arm down around in front, bring the right arm up next to your ear. And then roll the ribs towards the floor. And inhale, open up. Roll your ribs. Inhale and open. And then roll your ribs. And inhale, bring both arms up. Interlace your palms, press them up to the ceiling. And then release the arms, bring your arms down, roll your shoulders again. And then reverse. And bring your hands to your knees, round your back. And lift your chest. Take your left arm, bring the back of your left arm to the outside, or left hand to the outside of your right knee. And then take your right hand behind you, draw the navel in, soften the lower back. And as you twist, twist belly, ribs, and shoulders. So you can use the back of your left hand, hand against the right knee for a little bit of leverage to help with your twist. Take your arms up again. And this time take the right hand to the outside of the left knee, left hand behind you, and twist ribs, chest, and shoulders. Come back to the middle and round your back and lift your chest. And then just come forward wherever you can. And then press the hands into the floor and lift up your chest. Keep the head, neck, and spine all aligned in the same plane. Walk over to your right thigh and stretch through your left arm. Come back through the middle, walk over to the right, left thigh, stretch through the right arm. Come back through the middle, walk yourself up. And then take your legs to the floor, feet to the floor, and just rock the knees from side to side. And then extend your legs. and slide your heels, tap the legs. Come forward, press into your legs, lift up your chest, and then come back up. Take hold behind your knees, draw them in and then take them wide. Roll the thigh flesh down towards the floor. Make sure your toes and your knees are pointed in the same direction. And then walk yourself forward. Walk over to your left leg and again stretch through the right arm. Come back through the middle, walk over to the right leg, stretch through the left arm. Come back to the middle, walk yourself up and take your belt. And take the belt around the ball, big toe and little toe mound of your right foot and hold the belt into your right hand. Bring your left hand to your left hip and turn towards the left. Reach up with the left arm and then exhale right. Come back up. And then hold on to your belt with the right hand, the left hand, reach up with the right, and then exhale left. And come back up to the middle, and then switch the belt to the other side. Bring your right hand to the right hip and turn towards the right. Reach up with the right arm 
and exhale left. And then come back up, hold the belt in your right hand, reach up with the left arm, and then exhale right. And come back up to the middle. You can set the belt aside. Hold on behind your knees, bring the soles of your feet together, and let your knees drop to the sides. Bring your feet flat to the floor, rock the knees from side to side. And then take your belt again. And make sure there's nothing um, that will hurt you in the event that you um, roll backwards. So just make sure there's nothing hard behind your head. Bring the belt around the arch of your left foot. Roll your shoulders back and lift your chest. And then bring the leg parallel to the floor. And now straighten the leg if you can, if you're able. Good. And then bring the foot down. So Claudette, when you bring your foot, when you bring the belt around your foot, walk your hands down towards your foot. It will help you to keep your chest lifted. So this is what I mean. So what you were doing was this, you had your hands way up here. What you wanna do is bring your hands way down here so that when you lift up, your back can stay straight. See the difference, feel the difference? So if everybody tries that, bring your, so let's start again. Take the belt around the arch of your right foot, bring your hands down as close to your foot as you can. Roll the shoulders back, lift your chest, and then bring the foot parallel to the shin, parallel to the floor, and then take the leg straight. Good, good, much better. And then release. Now take the belt around both feet, the bottoms of both feet. Again, walk your hands down as close to the belt as you can. Find that balancing spot between the sitting bones and the sacrum. Roll the shoulders back, lift your chest, bring your shins parallel to the floor. You can stay right here or take the legs straight. And then lower down. Extend your legs and hinge forward. And then walk yourself up. And then take your belt Make a loop in your belt and bring it around you and bring the belt right up underneath your arms. We've done this before, but it's been a while. And then take your belt. So bring it all the way around Claudette so, it's, so that your, the belt is behind your back here. I don't know if you can see it because I have a black shirt on, but uh, you want it right around your whole body and then underneath your arms. There you go. And then take the belt, bring it around the bottoms of your feet. And if your belt is too short, you can just do what we just did um, by lifting up the legs. Now, bring your legs, chins parallel to the floor. So you're going to press your feet into the belt. So that you've got up your loop. Good. And then you can let go of your arms. And then hold on to the edges of the belt again. Straighten your legs. If you can, and then you can let go. Whoops. <laughs> That's why you always want to have be soft behind your head so that if you fall, you don't hurt your head and then bring the legs down and hinge forward. And then slide your heels, tap your legs, and let's come up onto our hands and knees.
Press your hands into the mat, draw your navel up and in and round your back. Lift your chest and round your back. Lift your chest and round your back. Lift your chest. Take your right arm and left leg up and lower. Take the left arm, right leg up and lower. Right arm, left leg and lower. Left arm, right leg and lower around your back and lift your chest. Press your hips back and come into extended child pose. And then slowly roll up. You can sit on your heels or be on your knees, whichever works best for you. And then reach up with the left arm and reach to the right. Come back and reach up with the right arm, walk out to the left. And then come back, reach both arms up, come forward, round your back and lift your chest. And if you have a blanket on your mat, then just remove the blanket. And walk your hands forward so they're in front of your shoulders. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Curl your toes and lift up for downward facing dog. Press into your hands, draw your navel up and in and press your thighs to the wall behind you. Come forward to plank. Press back for downward dog. Come up onto your toes, down to your knees, then press back into extended child's pose. Come up to table, tuck your toes, press back for downward facing dog. Come forward to plank, press back for downward dog. Look forward to your hands, Walk or step your feet forward or forward fold. Bend and straighten your knees. And then bring your ribs to your thighs. You should have the blocks close by. Bring your ribs to your thighs and then slowly press up into the floor. Bring yourself all the way up. Reach your arms up. And then exhale your arms down by your sides. Bend your knees and roll your shoulders. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale up. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. And then reach your arms up and fold forward. You can bring your hands to your blocks. Remember, that's always a possible option. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the mat, step your feet back for downward facing dog. And then look forward, come to plank. Press back for downward dog. And then walk or step your feet forward or forward fold and then slowly come up, reach your arms up, and then exhale your arms down by your sides. Good. Bring your hands to your hips and step back with your right foot. Have the right toes pointed out towards, slightly towards the mat, corner of your mat. Draw the right hip forward and the left hip back and then reach your arms up. And now bend your left knee for warrior one. Hinge forward, bring your hands down to the mat 
and then step your left foot back for downward facing dog. Come forward to plank. Press back for downward dog. And then walk or step your feet forward for forward fold. And then inhale, come all the way up. And now exhale, your hands to your hips. Good. Step back with your left foot. Turn your left hip forward, right hip back. Good. Reach your arms up. And then bend your right knee for warrior one. Hinge forward, bring your ribs to your thighs, hands to the mat, and then step the right foot back for downward dog. Glide forward to plank. Press back for downward dog. Walk or step your feet forward to forward fold. And then inhale, come all the way up, reach up, bring your hands to your heart. Pause in Tadasana. And then come to the middle of your mat. Um, take your blocks and bring them, let them rest, uh, sit them on your mat, but right against the back edge of your mat. And then take your feet wide. And your blocks should really be right behind your, right behind your um, heels. Good. And then turn your left toes out and turn your right toes in. Soften your knee, turn your thigh, straighten your leg. Good. Good. Reach your arms out to a T. Reach with your left hand, cut in with your left hip, and bring your hand to your shin, your ankle, or take your block right behind your ankle. And then take your top arm up if you're able, otherwise keep it at your hip. Good. Press into your feet, reach up with your top arm, come back to arms parallel. Lower the back hand to your thigh, flip your palm, reverse triangle. Come back to arms parallel. Reach back with your right arm and then extend the left knee over the left ankle for warrior two. Good. Bring your back hand to your hip. Bring your forearm to your thigh. And then reach up with your top arm. Bring it next to your ear. Good. Sweep the top arm down, around, come back up to warrior two. And then straighten the front leg and reach your arms up. And then lower your arms, bend your knee. Straighten the front leg, reach your arms up. Lower your arms and bend. One more time. Reach up, straighten the front leg. Come back to warrior two. Reach back with your right hand, straighten the left leg. Bring your hands to your hips and turn your feet. And now turn your right toes out and your left toes in. Soften your knee, turn your thigh, and straighten your leg. Reach your arms out to a T. Relax your shoulders. And then reach with the right arm, cut in with your right hip, bring your hand to your shin, your ankle, or your block right behind your ankle. And then take the left hand either to your hip if you have a shoulder injury or take it up straight. Good. 
Press into your feet, reach up with the top arm, come back to arms parallel. And then lower the left hand, reach up with the right arm for reverse triangle. Come back to arms parallel. Reach back with your left hand, bend your right knee. Warrior two. Bring your back hand to your hip. Bring the forearm to your thigh. Reach your back hand straight up and then bring it next to your ear. Good. Sweep that top arm down, around, come back up to warrior two. Straighten your front leg and reach your arms up. And then exhale, lower the arms, bend your knee. Inhale, reach up, stretch up. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten your front leg, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Reach back with the left arm, straighten your front leg, bring your hands to your hips, turn your feet. And then take one of your blocks and bring it to the center of your mat. Bring your hands onto the block. Now, if you need more than one block, use more than one block. You can stack them if you need to. Because you want to try and keep your back nice and flat. Good. And then press into your block. And then bend, um, bend your knees and look forward. And then straighten your legs, bend your elbows and look through. Press into your block, bend your knees and look up. Good, straighten the legs and look through. And then bend your knees and look up. Straighten the legs, look through. Come back to straight arms. Bring your hands down either to a, the low version of the block, or if you can reach your hands to the floor, bring your hands to the floor, whichever works best for you. And then take the left arm up and lower, and take the right arm up and lower, and left arm up and lower, and right arm up and lower, and then bring your hands back onto the block. Begin to heel toe your feet together. And then bend your knees, roll yourself up, and then come to the top of your mat, reach your arms up, fold forward, bend your knees, bring your hands down to the mat, Step your feet back and come into table. Round your back and lift your chest. Bring big toes together, separate your knees and press back to extended child pose. Walk over to your Left thigh and stretch through the right arm. And then walk back through the middle, across to the right thigh, stretch through your left arm. And then come back to the middle. Roll yourself up, roll to one side. Bring your legs out in front of you. Hold on behind your knees and roll yourself down onto your mat. Bring your knees into your chest and rock them in and out. Bring your feet to the floor. Press your feet into the floor. Press the lower back into the floor. And release and then extend your legs. Reach with your arms. Point your toes and do a pelvic tilt. Take a nice deep breath in. 
And exhale, let everything go. And then you can prepare for Shavasana. As you bring yourself down onto your mat, begin to let the breath come back to its natural rhythm. And relax your legs. Relax your hips. Relax your belly. Relax your chest and your shoulders. Relax your neck and the skin on your face. And now bring your knees in towards your chest and rock them in and out. And then roll to your right side. Pause for a moment. And then slowly press yourself up to come and sit in Sukhasana. And then bring your hands to the center of your chest, lower your head, reminding us to surrender the busy thinking mind to the wisdom and intuition that resides in the heart. May the long time sun shine upon you, all else surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Namaste. Namaste, Jenny. Namaste, Kathy. Thank you all for coming. And have a great weekend, and I will see you all on Monday, I hope.